A Mount Druitt police officer is tonight under investigation after a pursuit which resulted in a suspect being charged with resisting arrest. Witnesses are telling a different story though, suggesting the police response was excessive. And a warning, some viewers might find this story confronting. Pulled from his car in seconds, 28-year-old disqualified driver Halen Smith is surrounded by police. He's under arrest, accused of a short high-speed pursuit through Mount Druitt. That can't be allowed. You can see the white hatchback pull up on Luxford Road around 7 on Thursday night, his tyre shredded to the rim. He got out of the car and gave up. He had his hands in the air the whole lot. That's when witnesses say the arrest turns violent. Five to six police officers bailed him over, clocked the bloke straight across the cheek. It was like lions on a gazelle, the cops were, it was disgusting. This officer can be seen dropping two knees into the alleged offender before slamming the man's head into the road, not that once, not twice, that's but that's three times. That can't be allowed. Mate, that's gonna kill you. It shouldn't have happened. The cops went way overboard. They shouldn't have been doing the wrong thing, but is that a reason to get bashed by the, uh, the people that are meant to be served to protect? Despite what this vision shows and what neighbours claim they saw, Smith was charged with resisting arrest and refused bail by police. After Nine News showed this vision to Mount Druid Police, the officer was stood down from active duties and a review is underway. It makes you really turn your eye against the police. You don't want to trust them really anymore. In Lethbridge Park, James Wilson, Nine News.